Padres hosting the Cubs, and the Cubs are plus 118 on the money line. The Padres are minus 138. The over-under is eight runs. The Cubs getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 182, meaning if you bet them that way, they win this game outright. You win, they lose by one, you win. And the Padres laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 150, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. They played each other twice to start off the year, and they split. The Padres won the first one 9-8, to eight, and the Cubs won today 5-1. to one. Now, as far as the weather for tomorrow's game, I clicked on the wrong button. Uh, it is supposed to be, where are you? 71 degrees, 10 mile an hour winds blowing left to right. So if the wind shifts directions, this could get ugly. Hendricks pitched once against the Padres last year. Six innings, four runs, three of which were earned. And uh, they lost that game 5 nothing. He struck out four. Cease didn't pitch against the Padres last year. He was a White Sox. Head to head, they're five and five against each other. The home team is five and five. The favorite is five and five on the money line. The underdog getting a run and a half on the run line is six and four. There have been two one run games in their last ten. The under is nine and one, and the under eight is six, two, and two. I don't trust Cease. I, it, it comes from a place of every time I pick with him, he's been screwing me. And when I've been picking against him, I've been winning. So I'm going to take the Cubs with the money line. I'm going to take the Cubs getting the runs. And I'll go over with both of these guys on the mound. Now, these are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.